Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to To The Core. And I'm, I'm really not getting used to this. My microphone is now on the right-hand side of my face. My whole life, I've hung to the left. Now we're hanging to the right. I need to get used to this. Anyway, in this game, you... <laughs> this game is absolute carnage if you're just drawing now. But basically, we're this little this little white ship here. We shoot missiles. We can, we can shoot orbital lasers like that. And basically, we're trying to mine various planets of all their resources, get to the core, and then destroy that and like this planet is made out of diamond you can see bottom right we're getting loads and loads of diamonds we're also getting gems we get them every time we destroy any sort of block and but yeah we've made it into the core now you can see the core is getting smaller and smaller let's hit it with another orbital laser there we go we have prestiged it now every time we prestige you can see we've done it five times the ore and gems amount goes up by a, a multiplier but so does the block health so planets get harder to destroy but we get way more resources from them and you might be asking well why do you need all these resources let's head to the shop because this <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is our current tech tree. Everything in green, we have the resources to unlock. Everything in white, we don't. And then like these little grayed out ones, they're the ones we have maxed out already. So like up here, those missiles are shooting. Sorry, missiles are shooting. There's no there's no eye. Now we can use steel and gunpowder to buy that upgrade, which is now maxed out. So our missiles are doing the biggest size they can. This one is ceramic shrapnel. We need clay for that. So we can go back to the solar system. We can find a planet that has clay. Aha, like this one, Vita. It's only prestige two at the moment. So we get eight times the normal amount of blocks. But look, the, the inner layer is clay on top of that soil, on top of that plant matter. So let's head here and have a look. Oh, we are ripping through this planet. Over there, by the way, they're all my little drones. I can upgrade them to get more as well. But look, there is the clay layer. Let's hit it with an orbital laser. Oh, we prestige it. The orbital laser just sliced through. But yeah, the core has gone. I may as well stay here and sort of try and destroy a load of the clay, but I did just die because because I hit it and I'm quite weak still, apparently. Anyway, back in the shop, look, this is now green. That's the ceramic shrapnel, so we can upgrade that a little bit. It's costing us 307 million, but just from that run, we got 114 billion. So we can probably upgrade this a few times. Yes, we've maxed it out. All right, and then we can zoom out and sort of try and focus on something else. Now, down here, this is where this is where I was doing the drones. So I can use circuit boards and glass to increase the number of drones. It goes up by three every time. Worth noting, though, both these resources, we need to craft them. So up the top, we have this crafting tab. So we've got the glass there. We've got the circuit boards there. So we can press craft on that, craft on that. And you'll notice this one's going up all the time, glass, but the circuit boards isn't really going up. Now, that's because I think if we head into our farming tab, we've been slowly collecting seeds of various types. Now, so basically all the resources you can see here, so iron, rock, ice, plant, coal, sand, and uranium. Ooh, uranium. Use for uranium! Bombs! And we're sort of growing them, so we're getting those per second. So obviously the sand and coal are going up, which means we can just constantly craft glass. But in order to get the circuit boards, we need silicon and diamond. So we need to be on the lookout for seeds. Now, I think we just get those randomly, so not a lot we can do that. But still, this drone upgrade only takes 52 circuit boards. We've got 183,000. So let's buy some of them. Oh, we're out of glass already. 10 million glass? Okay, we may be waiting a little longer for that. What is this? Oh, the orbital laser we can upgrade. Circuit boards and uranium. That's going to take most of my circuit boards. 180,000. What does the one after do as well? Laser thickness. We can add some girth. It just takes diamond. 5 billion. I got 22 trillion. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so we now have a 6 out of 10 10 rated laser thickness and then i'll probably just go around and sort of upgrade the rest of these so like these are like armor which means you won't die as quickly when we bump into the planet same with fuel oh look we can afford the vision upgrade oh vision upgrade's very cool okay so we'll get that that's led to vision upgrade five which we need quantum boards for now, i've just upgraded this one as well the drop booster which is given us a thousand percent drop boost so we should get a lot more resources this time but nice that is everything upgraded that we can let's head back to the solar system and see what that vision upgrade has given us there should be a planet that was a question mark that now isn't a question mark wait wait what it's the sun. I can mine the sun. I just need 150 quadrillion to unlock it. It's got hydrogen, nitrogen, and neon in there. Okay, we need to farm some money. We've only got 107 trillion at the moment. So, unless there's anything... Oh, wait, 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 wait. This planet as well. 
Letum. It's got tungsten, lead, and mercury, and it costs 10 quadrillion. Okay, that's probably one we want to go for next then. But yeah, okay, we'll just head to these planets, and then we'll try and, well, mine some cores. That's probably the quickest way to get money. So let's hit orbital lasers. I've now got a couple of these, so I can sort of work my way around. Yeah, three of them firing at once. Incredible. Which means we're down to the core, and we've just prestiged the planet. So we'll prestige and restart, and basically just do that a few more times. I mean, if I hit all these orbital lasers in the same place, we should get right down to the core, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Goodbye, planet. Hello, Prestige. Yeah, I just remembered as well. I've got to get close to the core to do more damage. There we go. Because over this on the left, the lowest depth thing, we get like boosted fuel and damage if we go close. Oh, no, the screen's spinning. Help, help, help. So basically, if you keep an eye on that, it's like a damage multiplier. As we get close to the core, look, we're doing two times damage now just because we've gone like way down. So if we can orbital laser our way through the core, then nice, I'm in. I can go nice and close. And then it gets destroyed instantly. Look, I was doing 14 times damage. Right, okay, so this prestige taking a lot to get through the core. Oh, we do have a gap though. So we are in, which means if I spam my grenades, there we go, another prestige. All right, and now with prestige, we got that 15 times multiplier for being in the core, which means we can take out the planet quite easily and check out in the top right, my money is flying up. Although I say it's flying up, we've only got 700 trillion. I need, was it like 10 quadrillion or 20 to get that next planet? I'll tell you what, I think in equipment, we're gonna we're gonna get off the lens enhancement. That's like a little laser I've got that I don't really use because it rinses my fuel. Let's unequip that and we'll go back to the siphon expander because this gives us a three times multiplier, which is always good. Oh, worth noting though, I forgot I can sell my resources. Look, some of these are worth quadrillions. Seven quadrillion for that. Boosh, that's done. <laughs> Just a load of rock. Who's buying all that? Anyway, to get more circuit boards, I need silicon. So let's go find a silicon planet and then farm that to help. Aha, the home planet. It's got iron, silicon, and aluminium. I haven't been here for a while. We did prestige it pretty far. Here on prestige 15, which gives us 3,375 times multiplier. Let's get in there and see. Oh, wow. We are we are rinsing this thing. Haven't even hit my orbital lasers. Oh, my God. Look at the money. We got 300 quadrillion. Help. What? Okay, that's how you get money because we're about to see what's after quadrillion is it oh wait qu is isn't that quadrillion i can't remember numbers anymore they've gone too high but we've got We've now got two QUs, whatever they are. I didn't even use an orbital laser or my grenades. And yeah, back in the shop, we can now craft a lot of circuit boards, which means we can then add another orbital laser beacon. So we're going from three to four. We need a lot more circuit boards to get from four to five, though. So I think for now, let's just keep focusing on these. So drone bomb size sounds good. The bomb delay. And then I just want to add more drones. I need lots of glass for that. I'll tell you what, in farming. Yeah, we do have sand. We're getting 70 billion a second. I've got six cores I can pump in. That really ups the amount. So we're now getting 230 billion a second sand. We also need coal for glass. Oh, also, I think I should, I should probably do this as well. Upgrade my chance to get seeds because the seeds, they're just like free resource. So let's just pump everything into that. It's taking soil and organic matter. Oh, wow. This is. Wait, are we going to max this out? No, not quite. 79 out of 100. If I get some more organic matter, though, I may as well. I may as well max this. So, home planet, you're safe for now. We'll go back to this one again and do a few more farms. Oh, my goodness. We are barely getting through the upper layers now. All right. Orbital lasers for the win. By the way, if you look in the bottom left, my grenades are like replenishing, like almost one a second, maybe faster. So I can literally just pump grenades. Like coming out of me, can you see the little green blobs? As soon as they like go and hit, they explode in a big way. Boosh. So I can sort of just keep pumping grenades at this thing. I've still got another orbital laser. Where's my hole to the core? It's down this way. I don't think we're going to prestige this one. I have to do a bit of upgrading first. I mean, or I could be really patient. Because something I have learnt, you only, you only damage your ship if the drill hits it. And basically, my ship there, I can... Whatever way I look is like where my drill tip faces. So if I like reverse in, I can land on the surface like that. And like we're not taking any damage. We're not using any fuel. So I can just wait here and my drones are doing the work. It will take absolutely hours if I'm to get down though. So sod that. Let's just face the right direction and spam grenades in. Boosh. Got more grenades than I know what to do with. And we are not getting through that clay layer. It is a beast. Anyway, back in the shop, we can upgrade this seed chance quite a bit more. So let's do that. Not quite maxed out. But after a few more orbital 
orbital laser strikes. Oh, I've just realized actually the organic matter it isn't destroying the planet. This is the planet where I get attacked. Can you see like those little white things dotting about? Like there's one. So they are inhabitants. Like there's one up there. It's just got destroyed. All right, so I can orbital laser those. <laughs> Sorry bit of overkill. But yeah, so focusing on them, I got 20,000 that time. I need 5,000 for each upgrade. So have we done it? Yes, we've done it. 100 out of 100. Oh, there's the quantum boards. So they take a million circuit boards to unlock. But if we do that, we can now head into crafting and we have quantum boards. Oh no, they cost circuit boards and steel to craft. Okay, well, I can, I can use my gems. I got 2 billion gems. So let's pump a load into that. That just means we get more per craft. So every time we press this craft button, if we've upgraded this, we'll get we'll get more and more, if that makes sense. So we need to keep crafting steel. We need to keep crafting circuit boards. I'm out of diamond. Well, down on the farm, though, we've got soil seeds, clay seeds, and silicon seeds, which we didn't have before. Oh, and annoyingly, I can't press and hold. I just got to tap that one. Come on, upgrade, upgrade. There we go. Same with plant seeds. There's a lot of them. Come on. Click, click. Okay, we're now getting like 40 billion a second. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, we're not getting diamond or silicon and we need circuit boards big time now. So we'll head back to the home planet, go up to prestige 16, which we're on. Yeah, we've ripped through this. So I'm just going to prestige this like a load of times and then uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. 346 minutes later. All right, so I found a good way to do this. I need to turn off shiny blocks spawn. I think shiny blocks just give me like super hard resource nodes, but like they give you loads. But if you turn them off, if you're like core hunting, this is my technique. So basically I spam grenades and stuff just to try and get as close to the core as I can. Then I look upwards and then I just sit there because I'm close to the core. We're doing lots of damage and then I can hit with my orbital lasers, which pretty much goes straight to the core. Like I can, I can sit on the core. We're doing seven times damage, which means we just get straight to that planet center. So then I just prestige again, spam with grenades to cut down and as before, look away from the planet, go right to the core, hit it with an orbital strike. Boosh. <laughs> <laughs> we are flying through. So we're on prestige 33 and we just keep going. We are so powerful. Anyway, if we head back to the shop now, we got loads of resources. Actually, let's go unlock in the solar system. Yeah, this big old planet here. It was 10 quadrillion. We've got 273 QUs, which is even higher than that. So this is tungsten, lead and mercury on. Let's buy that travel there and see oh my goodness we're just ripping it to bits oh do you see there's like meteors hitting oh goodness watch out for those <laughs> yeah there's quite a lot of meteors all right well let's spam grenades get to the core all right that is that prestige i think i'll prestige and restart let's just try my technique ow the meteors like hit me on the back of the head yeah try my new core hunter technique ow 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 the trouble is i'm being <laughs> Been absolutely annihilated by the by the meteors. Yeah, and actually, doesn't it like we're getting to the core on this one? It's a bit of a beast. Although maybe we will, maybe we will. Just be positive, Matt. Right, there we go. We are in. If I just sit on the core like that, orbital strike. That should get to the core. It's not really working as intended. Oh, it's good. It's good. There we go. We prestiged it again. So I think we'll just prestige. We'll stick with our 15 times damage multiplier and then we'll just try and get a load of resource. So I'm just going to like orbit while while punting grenades everywhere. That should destroy most of it. Look at all the meteors coming in. Ow. They keep, ah, they keep landing on my head. But yeah, the next prestige will actually be really difficult. So probably worth just sticking here for now, getting all the resource we can and then seeing what what new upgrades we can unlock with them. So yeah, Meteorite is actually a resource, which is quite cool. Right, okay, that's pretty much the planet done. The Meteors are still coming in, just making their own planet. But yeah, let's head back to the shop. Oh my, oh my, there's a lot of green. And green around the edges is what I like to see. So this one, it looks like a face. Unlock caustic gas. Shoot bubbles of gas. It costs sulfur and mercury to unlock. Yeah, let's unlock that. That's given us three things. I presume these are like upgrades for it. So yeah, I can make the gas last longer. I can decrease the time per bubble shoot. So this is just going to do like more mining damage. So they're maxed out now. A grenade poison. Yes, please. Ah, oh, tungsten plated drill. So with that tungsten I just got, I can make my drill stronger. Lovely. That's maxed out. Down this way. Oh, I can use that meteorite to uh, get more electricity from my drill. And electricity is used for stuff that I definitely know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, down here. Micro drills. What are they? I don't think I'll do micro drills now. They cost all of my quantum boards. I think I'll, I'll keep going with the drones for now. Yeah, let's get them maxed out. All right, and then I've upgraded everything apart from that one because that uses money. It's critical drop chance. Because uh, I think first off, I just want to double check 
But oh yeah, look, we got loads of seeds. We got tungsten seeds. And remember all the cores we've got, we've got 20 extra cores now. Basically, once I've put all these seeds in, you can see I've put in loads and loads of tungsten seeds. We're still only producing one tungsten per second. But if I add a core, we're now making 7 billion. If I add two cores, 40 billion. And remember, we're just making them constantly. We don't have to do anything. So, so I would say that is very good. What else have we got up here? Aluminium. Oh, silicon seeds. Yeah, I needed those. So we'll pump as many of those in as we can. This takes so long. But yeah, I'll pump all of these in and then we'll be making loads of resource every second. Yeah, down the bottom, we've got lead, mercury, and meteorite seeds. So basically everything from that planet we, we got the seeds for. Presumably because we maxed out our seed chance, didn't we? So any resource I want, I think I can just go mine now. And then we probably will get the seed for it. Don't hold me to that though. So yeah, since I need circuit boards, I need diamond. What if we quickly head to the diamond planet, which is this one? It's only prestige five at the moment. But if we prestige it a few times and sort of mine it as well, then back in farming. Yes, in the middle, diamond seeds. So we can pump a load of seeds into the upgrades. And then we've got three cores to spare. So if we pump them into there, we're getting 176 billion a second. I think though, because I'm going to need so much of that, I should probably lower like some of these other ones. Like rock is, it's prestige 10. We're getting 7 billion rock. I don't think I need that much. Let's just go down to like one and we'll pump all of those into diamonds. So we're now getting 5.6 trillion a second, which means we can craft loads of circuit boards, which means we can craft loads of quantum boards. And nice, all of these are going up now. So I can literally just click like the craft buttons and then the resources get used up. But then because we're making so many a second, I don't actually have to play the game anymore. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's what these games are all about. Not playing the game. Yeah, right. Now in the skill tree, there's loads of things green. So we've got 31 quantum ball. Let's spend 10 on the micro drills. Increases chance to spawn micro drills on block break. Interesting. I can make my laser way girthier as well. Definitely do that. That just costs diamond. Uh, damage reduction. Yes, please. That's led to more upgrades. Of course, it has damage diffuser. Increases health and health. Oh, it's equipment, that one. I will unlock it, but in equipment, I'm quite quite liking just having my siphon one. Anyway, let's just upgrade everything we can. Get rid of all the green on this. I think I'm ready to try and take on the sun. Let's get hydrogen, nitrogen, and neon. We haven't got any of those resources yet. So we'll buy that and then we'll travel to the sun. And wow, this thing is, this thing's huge. Anyway, let's spam grenades. Try and get, does the sun have a core? I mean, it must do. Oh, we're getting in there pretty easily. So yeah, if I look away from the sun, you don't want to look directly in the sun. We're now doing seven times damage multiplier, which means means if I hit the orbital strikes, we've prestiged the sun. <laughs> Incredible. I'm going to prestige. I'm going to continue though. So I got my 15 times damage multiplier now. Let's just destroy the sun completely. So we got some more orbital strikes to hit. We've got all my grenades. I've got 70 grenades on me. Bam grenades. Okay, so I've just realized the things on screen, the little white ones, they're my micro drills. They're incredible. And then the circles, I think that's the like sphere things that we unlocked a while ago. I didn't even notice them before. I, I can only apologize to them. I'm doing a standout job for me and I've just ignored them completely. Sort of like my editors. Anyway, yeah, everything you can see on screen right now is everything that does damage for me. <laughs> Oh, and I've just realized my grenade count. Does it just keep on going up? We got 100 grenades. Oh, now I'm tempted to see. If I just spam grenades, can you see the green blobs? Like what actually, like, they'll get attracted back, right? If I just spam grenades as fast as I can. Grenade NATO! Grenade NATO t-shirt coming soon. Yes, yeah, so there's green, there's green grenades like flying in, flying out. Because I think they get, they get like so far and then gravity takes effect. I'm actually going to see how far away from the planet I can go. I've never, why have I never done this? Probably because it's infinite. I've been going for a long time now. Anyway, turn that off. Back to the shop. We've got new resources, which means these edge ones we can probably do. Yeah, hydrogen bomb scales the grenade to damage with drill damage. So that costs a load of hydrogen. Yes, please. So as our drill gets stronger, so will our grenades. Up here, we've got critical strike multiplier. That takes neon. Well, that's led to two more upgrades. What's that one? Infinity box. What does that say? I need singularity. I don't know what singularity is. Down here, we've got all cleaning. Increase the drop rate. Oh, it uses hydrogen. It goes up by a thousand percent. So every resource we get, we get 10 times just for a bit of hydrogen. Yes, please. What? <laughs> 
That went up to 105,000%. All right, then I'll spend the rest on orbital lasers and make them thicker before making sure those resources, we add some seeds to them. Yeah, look, there's neon seeds. Have some of that. Hydrogen and nitrogen. There's so much seedage going on. And I love numbers getting bigger. This game's so good. I'm getting all the numbers bigger. I can't believe I mined the sun as well. Oh, what's that one? Oh, I can upgrade my micro drills for quantum boards. Yes. All right, then. Oh, we got prestige two of the sun. Probably turn on the shiny blocks again as well. Anyway, prestige two. Okay, prestige two is pretty tough. But basically, just don't touch the sun. Sort of makes sense. Yeah, you can see using my technique, I'm stuck on a shiny block. They have a lot more health. Let's try and use my grenades to get rid of it. Die, shiny block. Oh man, they're so strong. There's two orbital strikes on that as well. Tell you what, let's just let's just avoid it and get as close to the core as we can. All right, now we'll orbital strike because that will get right down. He says, we're not really making a dent in this sun. This sun is pretty hardcore. Anyway, we have actually made it to the core. So I'm just going to sit on it. Then spam grenades. Oh no, we're being we're being hit around. Come on, grenades. I'm trying not to hit anything. Yes, we prestiged it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to go around destroying what's left just to get those resources. Oh man, if I hit the walls, it's pretty hardcore. Remember, with every every hit though, we get a chance for the micro drills, which just go mental. Oh, the shinies really make a difference though. They're brutal. But anyway, that's that done. We're back in the shop. I need to think about getting the next vision upgrade. We need a thousand quantum boards for that. So that's going to take a lot of crafting. What do I need for the drones as well? I like the drones. We need, oh, we need loads of glass. So if I just keep crafting glass, I need coal and sand for that, which we are making per second. But yeah, we are not making enough in the slightest. I'll tell you what, I've only got five seeds for the sand. If I go to a sand planet, I can massively increase that. We're only making 300 billion at the moment. Let's go find a sand planet. Oh yeah, this moon will do. Prestige four. The upper, <laughs> the upper layer is sand. I've, I've missed being like indestructible. So yeah, I'm just going to prestige this a load of times. And then hopefully we'll get a load of sand seeds. And then uh, then we'll be good. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, and then we picked up ah, 15,000 sand seeds. So watch this number here. We started on 480 billion. If we just pump all the seeds we got in, we're now getting 23 trillion sand. And I haven't even pumped any cores in. I got 11 cores now. If they did all go in there, we'd get 87 trillion sand a second. Which means I can craft loads of glass. Although still not enough. Class is quite an issue, it seems. Something else worth doing. If I go back to like the home planet, look up here. We have challenges. So if I try and do all the challenges, we'll do this at the highest prestige. I'm on 34. I think every time we do a challenge, we get like big old multipliers. So if we destroy this planet like that, and then we go back. Oh my, look at the drop rates. The drill fuel went up by 69 times. Nice. But yeah, it's worth noting these boosts are only they're only for like the planet. But what if we try and do it again? What do these go? So they're from 98, 49, 69. We'll destroy this planet as quickly as possible. Okay, so it didn't go up that much. I think you just get the multiplier depending on what prestige you do it on. Still, that's that's a massive multiplier for just doing like some easy challenges. I feel like what I should probably do is focus on farming. So if I just go, if I just go to every planet, make sure I've got like all the resources they've got like have i got gold i'm not sure I'll take on this planet the inner the inner sort of core is gold so right to the core and then to the core hit it with grenades boosh i will restart this one a few times before we like try and farm the gold because this one does seem like an easy planet to do okay this is tougher now i think i'll stick with this one let's just get into the core then we get the damage multiplier then we take out the core we just normal prestige we don't restart and then we'll go around and destroy all of the gold layer and that should give us gold seeds so back in the farm oh we got sulfur seeds as well i forgot about sulfur so basically just add one core and then add all the seeds we can that's getting us several billion there should be gold somewhere as well there it is down the bottom gold let's add a couple of cores to the gold add all the seeds now we're making 49 billion a second cheers game which probably means more upgrades can be unlocked energy balls create energy balls around you <laughs> 
There's so many upgrades. No, I definitely want to go for the drones, though. I want as many drones as possible. But yeah, energy balls now unlocked. That's given us more upgrades. Of course it has. Oh, by the way, look how much money I have. SX. Oh, is that like sextillion? I think it might be. All right, anyway, that's everything upgraded I can for now. <laughs> Game's insane. I'm worried about how far this zooms out as well. Like, surely, surely it's not going to be full. They just let you zoom out that far because it, it looks impressive, right? Don't know. Anyway, for now, I think we're going to leave it there. I am having a blast with this. I can't wait to see like how much further we go. But for now, I'll say peace, love and mining the sun. Bye, guys.